So we didn't get this last grant that we applied for and put a whole bunch of work into. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Of course, I'm I'm disappointed, and that's because we uh, we, we the grant application took so much out of all of us. This project, of course, is taking a lot out of us, but, you know, the grant application specifically. At the same time, you know, we wouldn't have been up, we wouldn't have gotten to this level if we hadn't applied in the first place. So, you know, easy to say glass half full, <laughs> but I don't know, it's, it's tough because we had a lot of people who were rooting for us and a lot of people who, um, who supported us along the way. I don't know, I think uh, it'll be important to like get right back into it. Like I got, after I got the news, I went downstairs. Hillary's not even here, she, she got some blood work done. And so I, I fed the boys, talked to them a little bit and just, give him a hug and uh, I thought you know what I was listening to a a podcast for good luck it was Lenny Kravitz and he um, he apparently was in like this really really world-class boys choir when when he was younger and he had you know just like most people with successes they went through a lot of challenges in the beginning but you know that was when he was a kid here we are um, in our mid 30s mid to late 30s and it's it's tough it's a tough pill to swallow because you thought you put it in everything you could uh, maybe the story isn't as compelling as as I thought it would be for people um, maybe Hillary just said that. Uh, Hillary just said that when she looked at the other people that were awarded, she she can't say that we were any better than any of them. I guess, or at least not at the same level. Meaning, you know, those those who who got it did deserve it. And there was a lot of applications, and you know, I could keep on going around and around about whether or not we should have gotten it and, and uh, being angry, but. The next thing I did is I grabbed my guitar, I grabbed my music, and um, I'm getting I, I'm getting message, messages on my phone as I'm as I'm recording this. Um, yeah, I'm I'm I, I need to get right back into it as as quickly and as as hard as possible so that we can get this thing done. I got some news today from, or at least I got a response today from Mount Royal, um, the, the Bella concert hall, and they want to meet up, and they're interested in, in having us, of course, if we can, they're probably looking for us to pay for it and all that stuff, but um, over the next couple weeks, we can meet with them and film that and get that process, and then it's just my goal now is very very clear uh, and it's, it's maybe this gives me an opportunity to say you know what go as hard as you possibly can on this if it's practicing every single day without fail at least at least two or three hours keeping in mind I gotta I gotta make sure I'm stretching I gotta make sure I'm I'm warming up if possible I gotta find a teacher to maybe work with a couple of times before the concert, but I, w I wanna have the pieces pretty much ready by December, by the time this, this guitar is going to be ready. So, anyways, tough pill to swallow. What else can you do but go forward? There's too many people, there's too many people uh, in this, you know, um, who are looking, who are part of this journey, and there's too many people, there's too many stakes, I guess, 
I don't know if you want to put those kind of words to it, but yeah, there's a lot of people relying on me as the leader to just keep on going and no matter how I'm feeling, you know, be disappointed, but at the same time, you got to still find a way to bring these people, these great, great people together and rally the troops and, you know, create something that we can all be proud of when it's all said and done. So, here's to keep going. <laughs>